Hello and welcome to Cutter Builds. We're back with another episode of Planet Crafter and I'll be honest this may be our final episode of Planet Crafter for just a little while. Uh, we're getting pretty close to uh, moving out on the animals here. We're at 1.8 tons. Let me just bring this up here real quick. As you can see the only thing we have left to unlock in the entire tree at this point is these four items under animals. And if I'm being honest, the only thing of uh, any note is this uh, fish farm that unlocks at 5.5 tons. So we're already uh, pushing up at 1.88 here. And uh, this is ticking by pretty quick. We'll be uh, at 5.5 tons in no time. So uh, while this is uh, doing its thing, we've uh, filled these fish tanks back up with some fish. Nothing great. We got a 400, some 300 percenters. So we're doing all right here. Uh, everything's moving. We're going to go out and uh, find a few more of the special things around the map. Now, I will admit I have uh, done a little bit of searching to kind of find where some of these areas are. I've had a little bit of help from uh, those of you in the comments and some uh, DMs on Discord and such. And so I've got a handful of things that we're going to do today. I did build a, another fusion energy cell, so we've got that uh, in our backpack here so that we can uh, go tackle both of the remaining ships that we haven't unlocked the reactors in. But before we do that, somewhere around here is a secret entrance, I've been told. So there it is. We're going to sneak into this cave here. And uh, sure enough, we've got a planet crafter here this is uh one of the uh guys that we have uh, already visited his base oh my goodness look at all of that good stuff so we're gonna grab some of the awesome stuff out of here we don't really need all of this stuff but you know we're here we might as well take a little bit of it and then we have the message from uh Ziodan here you sent me here to die you knew it was impossible you don't even care all you care about is profit and colonization whoever thought it was a good idea go to hell the plan was never forgiveness be cursed sentinel corp i think this is the same message we found when we found his uh base at an earlier point in the game however i thought it was kind of interesting when i was uh reading about the secret areas that you've actually got a uh half well half of a planet crafter here and so that was pretty cool. I'm glad we uh, found our way in here. I think it was uh, right here in the starting area all this time. Pretty cool. And we're going to sneak out here. I'm going to see if we can uh, go a little bit faster if we jump up out of the water here. Now, I suppose before we continue on our little adventure, I'll run back to the base. We'll dump this stuff off that we just grabbed. And then we're going to head out to the uh, Stargate, which I think is over there. Uh, I believe there was a reactor out there uh, that we haven't got, and I think there's at least one gold chest out there somewhere. So let me get this stuff cleaned up here, and we'll meet you out there. All right, we have uh, emptied out the inventory, and we're heading on out here to the desert. We've got the gate, which looks like we've got lots of uh, greenery growing around it. I don't remember if that was like that last time. However, I think the entrance to the uh, base is right over here somewhere there it is so let's go ahead and work our way through this see if we can find anything interesting i'm really not going to bother with uh mundane or materials here on this run we've even got a, a section underwater here i don't remember if this was like this the last time we came through here or not so let's check out this. Today was the inauguration of the space work day. It took two years to build. We did read this message before. Okay. Well, oh, here's our reactor. And I think last time we were here, we couldn't uh, take care of technical debris. So I'll go ahead and grab that. And let's put the energy cell in here. And just like that, we should have some stuff that opened up. I'm going to go ahead and grab the rest of this technical debris since we're here. You know, I don't think we've ever had to build a, uh, whatchamacallit, a circuit board in all the time that we've played. We've always been able to just uh, use what we've got. Now, this was definitely open before. I feel like we came back here already. Just going to double check. Yeah, that's all emptied out. Just making sure there's no uh, hidden walls or anything. Now that we've had that happen to us once, I'm kind of uh, paranoid about it. Just uh, looking around here, see if there's anything that we missed. I can drink the water, that's encouraging. Ah, here we go. 
deconstructing uh, the wreck to get through here. We've got even more technical debris. Plenty of inventory room still. A little bit of advanced materials. Nothing we really need to be bringing out with us here, to be honest. You know, honestly, the only thing I'm really hoping for at this point would be to unlock some more lore or somewhere. Uh, I am going to just grab some stuff as long as we're here. But like I said, I don't really need it. We're pretty full up on all of this stuff. We just uh, kind of keep moving back through here. Was that it? That was... Uh not really uh, worth the materials to unlock this door, to be honest. Maybe there's some hidden panels somewhere that I can tear down to go farther? No? This was uh, kind of a bust for a big unlock like this. I'm a little disappointed, to be honest. Alright, well, that's all there is. We might as well uh, get going out of here. We'll uh, head out to the desert, I'm pretty sure. There's at least one golden crate around here, so let me take a look at the list here. We do indeed have a golden crate somewhere. I'm always a little bit confused by the coordinate system here. So I think I need to come out this way somewhere. Yeah, we'll head over here. I think there's a uh, there's a rock over here somewhere that there's a uh, chest hiding in. So we'll take a little bit of a look around here, see if we can find it. I'm not quite sure where it's going to be. Maybe somewhere around here. Ooh, we got the uh, unlock for the fish display. So that's a one more thing kind of uh, unlocked here. Oh, there it is. What do you know? All right, well, we're all full up on junk right now. So we'll uh, drop this piece of iron. We'll pick up a golden effigy. And I don't even know. We'll just eat the food so I can get the golden seed. We don't really need most of this other stuff. Iridium is so easy to come by. I'll grab the osmium, although we don't really need osmium anymore either. So I'm going to grab that. And I'm just trying to see if there's an easier way to get out of here. You know, I don't even need to uh, deconstruct the golden chests at this point. We'll leave it there for our future selves if we ever need that for some reason. And I suppose we can just uh, run back to the base here and dump off all these circuit boards as long as we've got them. And I think at that point, the last big area that I kind of wanted to go explore is over by the waterfall. I know a lot of you have uh, encouraged me to head back over that way and check things out. There's one more shipwreck out there, I think. And then there's also going to be a bunch of golden chests in the area. So. We're going to dump this stuff at the base, and we'll meet you out in the waterfall area. And just a quick check-in while we're back up here at the base. We're at 2.75 tons of animals still ticking along here. And I've got uh, another one of these 300% eggs. Looks like I'm all good up here. I just want to real quick double-check what do we got going on out here. 325, 300... 325, 300, yeah, we're sitting good here. So what we're gonna do is actually start uh, deconstructing these and seeing if we can get something a little bit higher percentage here. I remember, right, this is the recipe that lets me get to 400% at some point. And because we're here, we can actually uh, use this to hop out here and get a shortcut back towards the waterfall, if I'm not mistaken. Our waterfall is uh, right out in this area somewhere. Let's get up the hill here and see if we can spot it. Yes, sir, it is. Now, before I start going around looking for golden chests, I think what I want to do is hit the ship first. If I'm not mistaken, there's a shipwreck right on the other side of this. So we're going to hop over the hill here and see if we can find that shipwreck. Ah, yes, here we go. It's right behind the waterfall here in the side of the hill so we're gonna jump right in here and see if we can find our way to the reactor i don't remember this ship very well i know we came in here at some point well if i recall too this was a relatively large one yeah we, we really just don't need materials at this point if i'm being honest i tend to pick up the circuit boards and stuff only because uh it means we don't have to make those i'm kind of taking that as a personal a note of pride at this point that we've managed to 
get all the way through the game and never have had to craft a circuit board on our own. So we're going to try and keep that uh, philosophy going here. And I'm just going to come up in each of these areas and make sure we haven't missed anything uh, super interesting. Keep my deconstructing uh, mode on so I can see if we find anything interesting. These doors are going to open, it would appear, in a minute here. I don't know why I'm deconstructing the wrecks through the wall. But uh, know at least that going up the stairs is going to be something good to do. We're going to have some doors unlocked here. Looks like that's going to be true for both stairwells. So I'll keep that in mind. Nothing of interest though. So let's uh, go down here and keep going towards the back of the ship. I think that's where we're going to find the reactor. If I come over here to the right, there indeed is the reactor. So we'll pop this in here. Oh my goodness, I need three of them here. Well then, that's... Uh, gonna be quite the hefty price tag. I better get some really good stuff for uh, dropping three of them in there. So we'll go ahead and uh, keep working on uh, double checking myself here. We don't need no more chips, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we just left a lot of stuff laying around in here because we just don't need it. So I'm gonna keep uh, looking here if there's anything cool. I'm not seeing a whole lot of anything. We'll get all the technical debris we can. And apparently I'm going to have to run back up to the ship and get myself a couple more of these uh, fusion reactors. All right, a quick check in. As long as we're back at the base, we're at 3.2 tons, 3.23 tons to be exact. And I have got the materials to build another teleport station here. So we're going to be building one up here near to the waterfall because, well, if we're finding all these golden chests out here, I think there's four golden chests out in this area. We're going to uh, be jumping back and forth quite a bit and saving ourselves a uh, handful of minutes here is going to help out quite a bit. So I think what we're going to do is, if I'm not mistaken, the ramp to get up to the top of this thing is over on this side. I don't remember how I got up there the first time, but... Uh, we're going to go ahead and put that teleporter down. I think somewhere right here is going to be a nice uh, kind of central location for us at the moment at least. And we're going to name this Waterfall just to make our lives a little bit easier. And we're going to head on up here. I think there's some golden chests or something up near the top of this thing. I'm not really sure. We're going to head up there and find out though in a just a couple of minutes first we gotta stay on track we've almost forgot why we're out here which is i've got the two fusion reactor deals here fusion cells maybe uh to finish unlocking the stuff inside the ship so let's go ahead and get our butts in there and see if we can figure out what's uh behind the magic doors here we go one and two making for a total of three I heard a bunch of doors unlocking, so we can go ahead and head up there now. Just double checking myself. We're getting all kinds of turned around. We'll take the left side here first. Whoops. And if I'm not mistaken, it's this door. Oh my, that is a good amount of uh, good stuff. We don't really need the, the uh, mutagen though, so we're gonna leave that behind. Just gonna check behind the doors. Did I see something to deconstruct? Oh, it's that chest. Okay. Now that we've found, like, stuff behind the hidden cave walls, I'm kind of uh, anxious about there being other hidden uh, walls and stuff here that I need to tear down in different places. We're just going to grab these rods and the pulsar quartz because we've been using that to make some things. The rest of that is pretty mundane. And across the way to the other stairs now... These doors still did not unlock. I swear I was able to deconstruct something behind these doors. However, it doesn't appear that there's anything up here. So we are uh, really going to have just the stuff up uh, the stairs here. Those two little doors was all that we unlocked with the uh, three uh, fusion reactors. That seems like, I don't know a bit underwhelming to be honest. 
However, oh, it is what it is. If I'm missing something in any of these ships, please, please let me know in the comments below and we'll come back through and uh, try and figure that out. This is a nice little bridge of roots and flowers. However, our next stop is we are going to go up on top of the waterfall here. I've got a list of what appears to be four uh, golden chests around this area. So we've got the four golden chests around here and then the rest of them I believe are all in the uh, ancient city areas uh, that we unlocked a handful of episodes back. So up we go. We're going to just uh, fly our way up here. See if we can make it up. Now, last time I didn't do this for sure. I think I just <laughs> jetpacked up the uh, other side of this uh, waterfall area when I came up here. I do not remember uh, doing this at all. So maybe we never made our way up on top, or if we did, I, I definitely did it the other way. So here we go. And let me see here. I think I can come across the waterfall here. Man, it's all crazy in there. Indeed is a golden chest. So let's see what we get out of this one. Ooh, that's a new golden effigy I haven't seen before. Very nice. And uh, yeah, we're going to leave the rest of that stuff there. Can't uh, bring these trees with me, can I? No, sorry. All right. Well, let's see if I can keep going up now. It looks like the far side here, we've got a little bit of a, a ramp or something here still. I'm going to just work my way around. I don't know if I necessarily need to go up on the top of this thing or not, but we're here now. We might as well give it a shot, and we're back down here. Okay, well that didn't get me very far. Perhaps we'll uh, make our way up the old-fashioned way and just uh, jetpack through. Here we go. Very nice, and uh, ah, yes indeed, there's pulsar quartz up here. I don't know if this is an area where it can respawn or if there was just a handful of uh, static pieces, but we're going to jump up here and take a look around as long as we're here. Very good, very good. I'm uh, There's more pulsar quartz. I don't really need the pulsar quartz. We're constructing it at this point, so we've got more than we know what to do with. All right, well, we're going to jump down here and we're going to start trying to find the rest of these uh, golden chests here real quick. So I've got uh, coordinates to one of them, but it's uh, somewhere north here on a ledge of an orange rock overhang. So let's just uh, jet over here and see if I can get up on top of maybe this rock here and see what I can see. If nothing else, I'd uh, expect to be able to see it from up here. Uh, I'm looking for coordinates 142 by 784. All right, well, let's uh, head this way, I guess, or negative 142 by uh, 784, I guess. I think maybe I need to get up here on uh, the next level, though, because it was at a uh, height. Oh, I'm missing it of 181. There should be. Ooh, that's a cool golden effigy. So we're just going to grab those. I'm going to drink my water here before I uh, get too far along. And then we'll uh, go find the other two here, which are both saying to start from the water area. So. We're going to jet back over here to the waterfall area and uh, follow the instructions. For those that are wondering, I'm going to post the link uh, to the Planet Crafter wiki that I'm looking at that has all of the uh, locations and stuff for this if you want to go and find them and check them out for yourselves to get uh, total completion. I'll put that in the description of the video here. We're going to head east here, and it says that I should find a cave. I do see what appears to be a cave entrance. Um, maybe? Not exactly a cave. It says, head east slightly south to find a cave. At the back end of the cave behind the rocks, there's a whatchamajigger. If you progress to the lake stage, the cave will be flooded and the entrance is under water. Oh, well, that probably explains it. 
Let's dive down under the water then. Oh, look at that. So we're gonna go to the back of the cave behind the rock and would you look at that, a, another golden chest. Very nice, very nice. Getting all of our effigies here, hoping to get the entire collection. It's probably worth an achievement, you'd have to think, right? All right, well, let's get out of the water here again. And uh, ooh, we've got uh, the blue sky. I forget which rocket that is. Probably the Osmium or the Pulsar Quartz, one of the two. Either way, we're about to get rained down upon. I can't see it, though. It's got to be the Pulsar Quartz where it just comes down with a single rocket. In fact, I think I heard it hit the ground already, probably. From the waterfall, go along the west wall, circling the waterfall rock until you get to a depression. Okay, so from the waterfall, oh, there's a uh, asteroid. My goodness. Well, there's multiples, so this must be the osmium one. All right, so let's follow these instructions here. From the waterfall, go along the west wall, circling the waterfall rock until you get to a depression. If you have progressed to lake stages, the, the depression will be underwater. Okay. And, oh, well, look at that. It's right there. I have to say, whoever put the instructions together on this wiki has done an awesome job for people like me who uh, need it really spelled out to them in uh, super basic letters. So. We've now found the one down there, the one in the cave, the one on this ledge, and the one over on that ledge. So I think I've got all four of the chests in the waterfall area now. Woohoo! Well, at this point, I guess we'll just uh, go over here and jump in our handy teleporter and head on back up to the base and dump all of the uh, shiny loots that we've got off. And uh, we'll check the logs and see where else we need to go. All right, we are back up here at the base. I'm gonna go ahead and drop these uh, golden effigies off. We've got uh, drones, that's what those are. And then I've got one more here. I think I'm gonna put it in with the rockets. And uh, this would appear to be a jetpack. awesome. All right, well, we're starting to get quite the uh, full display cases here, but we've got a few more to go, it would seem. So I think what we'll do is we'll head on up here to um, the entrance to the ancient city, I think that's where there were a few of these left that we haven't got. I'm looking at the list. I've got the Highlands, the Mushroom River. I think I got the one in the Mushroom River. I'm not 100% positive. The Ancient City and the Lost Paradise are the ones that I'm missing for sure at this point. I want to say I got all the other ones. So we'll get going on that uh, four tons here of animals. I'm waiting to get to that 5.5. So let me uh, get the materials here for another teleporter. Once I get out there, uh, we'll want to be able to set that up. What is a teleporter even taking? And uh, we'll get that set up and meet you out towards the entrance to the ancient city. All right, we're out here in uh, what I believe is called the Highlands and I'm just uh, looking at the list. I think there's a golden chest somewhere in here, and I almost want to say we got this one, but we're going to take a look here real quick to see if I can find the location. It's 1750 in like 1990, so I'm trying to get myself into an appropriate position here. East a little bit. We're in the uranium caves now, and I think it's uh, not in here. I forgot that those are out here. There it is. We have not gotten out here yet. Look at that. All right. Always pays to double check. That's awesome. We've got another, uh, another one here. And you can see this is something I thought was awesome. When you're underwater, you actually do still need oxygen. It's only when you're out and walking around in the world that you're not losing, uh, an oxygen bar so that's kind of cool you still got to pay attention when you're under the water now let's go up here I think this is the entrance here to I don't remember if this is the ancient city I think this might actually be the lost paradise is what it's called we're gonna go up here I'm almost positive I got everything out of the golden chest for that because that was the end of uh, 
the lower line there where we got the golden butterflies at the very end of that. So we're going to slap down a, a teleporter here and we're just going to go in there and double check just to be sure. Um, islands, I guess we'll call this just because I can't recall what the uh, zone is called in here yet. But we're going to follow the path down here and uh, see what we can see. Oh, that's right. I can't use my jetpacks in here. Oh, well, we'll have to hoof it on foot. I think the other zone that we can go into is back by the, uh, oh, what do you call it? The super alloy mine that we're using would be the uh, place where the other set of ruins is. Now we're going to shoot on up here and just head right into the back of the ruins here. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, there's two golden chests on either side of the butterflies here. We managed to get all the good stuff there. We've done all of the lore here. And uh, yeah, there shouldn't be anything else in here. So we've gotten these two golden chests. Now we just need to find the golden chests back uh, at the other set of ruins that we did before we got into here. So we're going to run back out of here and head back over to that other area and see if we can uh, figure that out. Since I'm pretty sure I know where it is, we're going to go ahead and uh, teleport on over there. And if I'm not mistaken, that's part of where the door go. It's somewhere around here. There we are. I think it's back in here. So we're going to head back into the ruins here and see if we can locate this other golden chest. I'm almost positive that we didn't uh, manage to get this one while we were back here before. Um, I don't remember which way to go to get there though, so we might have to do just a little bit of uh, exploration again. We're looking for something around 642 2008, and it's up a few levels. It's at 24. Let's go in here. Maybe there was a way to get up in here? I don't know. There's a whole other side over here. Oh, look at that. Okay, well, we would have completely missed all this. Um, we'll go up, up, up. There's a golden chest. Look at that. And what do we got? We got some other stuff over here. We might as well go see what there is to see on this side. Nothing over there, but there is oh, a tablet we didn't find last time. Generations has passed since the Great Migration, but we are not forgotten oh excuse me but we are not forgetting our story and the knowledge is carefully passed to every one of our younglings our masters with masters watch their evolution closely we now see how primitive they were and yet so powerful ironically their destruction that they, bidi, 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 man we can't talk today their destructive nature causes them to expand always ever further and little by little they increase their reach getting closer and closer we though we were s we though we were safe this far but now we need to find a way to avoid meeting them again we won't make the same mistake as the first time yeah i have to say the humans are really coming out to be the uh, bad guys in all of this kind of unfortunate uh, i'm going to double check one more time before we move on there's nothing else back here no no okay all right, well, that, I believe, is yet another golden chest. And I want to say we're getting pretty close to the end of the golden chest here. So we're going to go back and count up how many of these uh, golden effigies we've ended up at and see if I can account for all of them or if we're still missing one. If we're missing one, it would be in the Mushroom River area that uh, we didn't manage to uh, get it. But I do know how to get back to the Mushroom, mushroom River, if that is the case. Oh, we already got to uh, whatever this was. Oh, we must have missed our turn here. I think I turned uh, right when I should have turned left. Well, there we go. All the way back up here, we'll teleport back to the base and we'll do a effigy count. All right, I have gotten the... Uh, uh, display cases expanded here. We moved some stuff around and as you can see we're up to one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and nineteen 
of these effigies. So we are indeed missing one of them still. And I believe that means that we need to head on over to, what is it, the Mushroom River here and uh, check that one. That's the only one that I can't recall for sure if we got or not. And I think the quickest way to get over there is the zeolite fields here. If I remember right, there's a hole in the ground out here in this valley that we used to get down into the Mushroom River. I think there's probably another hole somewhere back there in the zeolite fields. I'm not 100% positive, so we're gonna go to the entrance that I know where it's at, and we're gonna see if we can find, uh, if we can find our way down there and find this last golden chest. I can't believe I didn't get this one down here, though. I feel like I did, but if, uh, if there's one missing, it's gotta be down here. So we're gonna take a look at our wiki, and it says, uh, Mushroom River. In the river near wooden structures. Um, there was a bunch of wooden stuff here. What's the coordinates? Negative 411. Nope, it's got to be back in the corner here where we uh, found the entrance into uh, the ruins. So we're going to jump back here and take a quick look around. Ah, indeed. Here we are. So we've got uh, all this wooden stuff. Uh, what's the coordinates? Minus 411. <laughs> One, one, one. All right. Oh, and indeed, we do have a golden chest. And would you look at that? We've got another backpack. And of course, we got to get the golden seed and stuff. So, all right. Well, we were missing this one. Awesome. We're going to run this back up here to the base and we'll see. Um, I guess we're not getting any kind of special achievement or anything for picking it up into our inventory. At least I was kind of hoping once we got all of them uh, picked up that we'd get an achievement. But you know what? I guess the game's not done yet. There will probably be a handful more things like this added to the game at some point as the final stages are uh, completed. And I'm getting myself a little bit turned around here. Oh, where's the exit to this zone? Anyway, I'll catch you guys back up at the base and we'll uh, see where we're at on the old terraformation index. Hopefully we're getting close to that 5.5 and we're gonna get uh, the, what is it, the fish farm thing unlocked that we've been waiting for. So I'll see you at the base. Oh, hey, we found the exit to the zeolite fields. All right, so there's the mushrooms. We're in the zeolite fields. Oh yeah, we're like right here. Okay, well that's gonna make getting down there easier if we ever need to do that again. Well, in that case, hey, we're at the base. Um, we found one more of these rocket engines. So what I'm going to do are rocket engines, the jetpacks. I'm going to take the jetpacks over here with me. We'll put both of those in a display case. And now we've kind of organized things out. We've got four, four, three, 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 and two. Very nice. That's all 20 of the uh, things that I know about for golden chests. We'll keep our eye on it. And uh, would you look at that? We're at five point, uh, almost 5.3 for animals. So just a little bit more to go there. We'll take a moment to clean up our inventory, sort some stuff out in the base, and we'll check back when that ticks up. All right, we have uh, unlocked the fish farm thing finally. Let's see where that's at, fish farm. So we have a water life collector, but I want this fish farm. So we're gonna need silk, a bioplastic nuggets, and a plankton A. Well, we've got some plankton A. I'm going to bring a couple of those with me. We've got some silk. I'm going to bring that with me. Um, I think it was three per. I'm going to bring enough stuff to make uh, two of these if possible. One, two, three, four. Let's see what that does. I'm hoping this is one of those deals where I can put the fish eggs in there. And it's going to be a mega good for making animals here for us. So let's go ahead and slap one of these down. And indeed, we can put fish eggs in here. So I'm going to go grab some of that. That's also doing a little bit of points and oxygen and pressure. Look at that. It's the whole package. So that's 90 grams a second right now. I'm kind of curious to see what uh, the aquariums are doing for me. Uh, if we look at an aquarium, that's only 25 grams per second right now. I mean, they, I do only have some of these lower ones in it. But we're going to grab these out and we'll go see how this stacks up. Obviously, it's going to be better than what it is right now. 
So I'll put the 325 in there, and would you look at that, 633 grams per second, that's pretty good. We might as well slap another one of these down here and put the other egg into it. That's a 585, these are doing awesome. So I'm kind of curious what the big aquarium here is pulling off uh, on its own. Um, I think I can see that from inside the aquarium. There we are, we're 845 grams a second, and that's got my golden fish eggs and these 400s in it. So is this thing already obsolete? That's got three of them in there to get to 845, where I've got a single 300 in here getting me to 600. Oh my goodness, these are completely replacing our aquarium tier three already. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get the materials to build a few more of these and we'll tear down the aquarium, I guess. All right, I'm gonna grab all three of these eggs. These are my best eggs. Well, let me put them back in here for a second. We're going from 845. Well, let's see what this does. And I'm gonna put these out here. I'm gonna build them first. I'm gonna spread them out just a smidge for the fun of it. I don't think I really need to. And in this first one, I'm gonna put the golden egg so there, we're already, one egg is already more animals than the other one. And then these two are just going to be icing on the cake. Would you look at that? That's insane. I love it. 780. Oh, goodness. We're doing awesome here. So we've got all kinds of uh, awesomeness coming out of these fish farms. And these fish farms are also doing oxygen and pressure and plants and insects on top of the animals. It's just a little bit of everything. This is going to be completely epic. We're going to get all kinds of goodness here. And it's given me something to use up all of these bioplankton A on, which we have just an absolute ton of. And so, yeah, we're going to, uh, I guess, just uh, completely replace all of our aquariums with those. I don't need any of this uh, big monstrosity on our base anymore. We've completely managed to simplify things out. Uh, before I deconstruct anything, though, we're going to go ahead and get rid of some of the stuff in my inventory. We're starting to create uh, chests here for everything. That is uh, Plankton B now. And it's dark out, but boom, just like that, we have uh, deconstructed our aquarium. We spent uh, so much energy getting that thing all put together here building this a nice set of ladders and everything to get up to the top of this thing and now we're already tearing it back down kind of sad about that but we're gonna just uh keep going here we're gonna fill up our inventory rather quick here but that's all right i'd rather get this mess all uh taken care of oh we're dropping resources here so let's go put these away we don't need all this stuff uh da, da. and just like that the base is so much more clean now we've simplified it and hey i've got another bioplankton c i can go try and make one more fish egg here we've been uh slowly working on uh getting more and more better fish here oops not the two the regular c mutagen fertilizer go Oh, we've got eggs in there. Haha, <laughs> my bad. Research. Uh, these are 300 percenter eggs, though, and not good enough. We really want the 400s. And so we just uh, recycle, and oh, we've got another one over here. Another 300, not good enough. We'll toss it in, and uh, well, yeah, we're just going to keep these uh, moving until we get some uh, much, much better eggs going here. Uh, ta -da. All right, well, this has been a fun episode. You can see we're already up at 7.1 tons for animals, which puts us, you know, almost to the seed lerma. You do have to get all the way to 22 tons for common larva. I'm not sure we're going to sit here and wait for that to tick up. I am going to uh, finish swapping out for uh, some more of these uh, fish farms with the 400% fish just to uh, get them going. The ones in here, oh, we do have some 400% in here. We'll have to, uh, yeah, get those fish farms going once we've got enough uh, bioplastic nuggets to do that. We're waiting for some mushrooms to grow, but we're just gonna, yeah, keep playing with this stuff. But I think this is probably gonna be 
the final episode of uh, Planet Crafter for a while until the update comes out some point in uh, Q3 here when they'll release some more content and we'll be able to progress further. Hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, series on uh, Planet Crafter. I've had a lot of fun playing it and we'll be uh, definitely checking this out in Q3 when the update comes out. However, until then, uh, stay tuned later this week for a uh, new set of videos on a, uh, another game. I've got uh, some different things planned. We're going to be doing some more tips and tricks type things. I may even do some uh, uh, tips videos for Planet Crafter uh, since I've learned so much playing this. And there's probably a lot of people that are going to come into this game uh, over the uh, coming months, even as the next update comes out. And I think uh, a lot of what we've learned in this Let's Play is going to be able to help people out. So I'm going to try and consolidate some of that knowledge into some uh, uh, tips and tricks type videos here. But uh, that's going to be all for the Let's Play here until a new content comes out. We hope to see you back here soon. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Helps me out a lot. That's all for today. Ketterk. Out. Oh my, we got the uh, Seedler unlocked. Awesome. I'm back here real quick post uh, episode because I have figured out one thing we were doing wrong before and that is we can actually build a 500% eggs. I thought I found this in a chest, but you can actually create golden fish eggs. So I've been slowly upgrading some of our fish farms, adding quite a few in different areas here just to spread them out. We got some out in the desert there. We got some over here by this lake. We got quite a few in that lake. <clears throat> All of the ones that we've placed are 400%. And as you can see, that's allowed us to get quite a significant uh, tick up here in our animal rate. And now we should be, there we go, getting the common larva. That common larva was the last thing in animals. And so just for the sake of being 100% complete here, we had to go ahead and get that on camera for y'all since we will be uh, pausing the uh, series now until the update comes out. That's all for today for real this time. Ketterk, out.